The top left hand section of the S3 control surface is called channel control. Now channel control gives us all the parameter types associated with the selected channel. It gives us input and top of channel functions, EQ, dynamics, and up to 24 AUX and variable group sends. In addition to this, it has a user mode that allows us to choose a mixture of parameters and have them available to us at all times as spilled across the encoders. To use channel control, I simply select the channel using the select switch to the left-hand side of the fader, and then choose which type of parameter I want to access and spill onto the encoders. So if I want to spill EQ, I simply press the encoder for EQ, and now you can see that EQ is spilled across the encoders. The venue software highlights in green to match the control surface to tell us which type of parameter we're controlling. Now if I want to access a different parameter type, I just press back to get me back up to the top level, and I can choose a different parameter, for example, compressor. Again, the venue software highlights in blue to match the control surface, and the parameters for the compressor are spilled across the encoders. I can alter them here. In addition to this, we have user. Now, user allows us to choose a selection of different parameter types from the venue software and have them accessible to us at all times on the channel control encoders. Now, these might be the, the most important parameters to us during a live mix. To exit that mode, I simply press the back button once more, and I can choose a different parameter type from the top level.